everyone. It's Brenda here, and I hope you're going, getting outside in this sunny, warm weather. I went outside, and I found some things on the ground. And look at that. I found some sticks. They're sticks, so they're the same, but they also look different. I have a big, thick stick, and I have a thin stick, whoa, that's hard to say, stick. And I have one that's sort of in the middle, not thick and not thin. And I have one, two, three sticks. And I found these sticks on the ground, but a lot of times these are branches right off the tree that we find in nature. And those sticks reminded me of a book that I'd like to read to you. It's called the magic stick. Here's the words, the magic stick. That must be a magic stick in the pail and the cat's looking in. I see it's kind of circles over here. I'm wondering if the stick is turning. Up here it says, Barbara Shook Hazen. That's the person who wrote the book or the author. And Paige Bill and Fry the illustrator, the person who drew the pictures. I'm gonna open up the book to the front page and I'm gonna, going to start reading right here at the top. It says, Rick found a stick right on the ground, just like I did. His said, sister said, ick. His brother said, get rid of it quick. Stick and ick and quick, they sound alike. They're rhyming words. No way, said Rick. It's a magic stick. And it looks like he's thinking about the stick. A stick's the way to scratch an itch, or it can be a broom for a witch. A stick can poke. A nice round hole. Looks like he's digging up some dirt. And I see a carrot. Over here, a picture of a carrot. He must be planting some carrot seeds, maybe? And a stick can be a fine flagpole. Looks like he might be up in a building. There's a window and a door. A stick can be a bat for a ball. Ooh, he hit that ball hard. And a stick can be a tent. Stand tall. Looks like he might be going camping. A stick can be a mass for a sail. He's sailing his boat in the water. And a stick can stir the mud in my pail. Oh. I think we figured out that's mud in that pail. That's the same picture as the cover. A uh, stick's a pen to write in the sand. It looks like he wrote an R and an I and a C and a K, which is his name, Rick. Or a baton in a conductor's hand. It looks like he's conducting a band with instruments. Follow me. I'm the leader of the band. They're pretending to play instruments. So many different things you can do with a stick. Lots of things we can use our imagination for. And that's the end of the book. I hope you get a chance to get outside, find some sticks, and see the different things you can think of to do with a stick. Have fun, and I will read a story on a different day. Bye.